Good evening, late night on Facebook. So, who has the power? Can you check in with yourself and ask who holds the key to your happiness? And if you know where your power lies, or if you give it away, power is an interesting word because a lot of times when somebody thinks in terms of power, we think of some form of force. Uh, we think in terms of something that has to be gained or achieved or worked for physically. There's this sense of momentum and actual forcing through something of a, 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 a physical way of power, right? Or a machine. We'll think of things in terms of a machine because it's bigger, better, faster, stronger than humans, right? But the reality is power is something that we all have innately, naturally inside of us, within us. It is part of us. It is our, our natural state of being is we are all powerful creators. We are powerful forces. But see, we've been conditioned to think that we don't have power over things. Therefore, we tend to cower in the face of what we perceive as being power, which is really force, which is really uh, a way of being, being belittled from your natural state into thinking you have no power over those things because some force over here has determined and created a story that you bought into and you believe that they have more of the power. So you somehow, and, and it's not always conscious, somehow you just tend to give away your power by assuming you have no control over anything. So you say that person has power over me or the powers that be. When in reality, you have more power than you give yourself credit for. And that nobody can actually take your power away from you without your permission. So it's an interesting thing to consider because so often we all, we're going outside of ourselves and thinking this is a situation I have no control over. When in reality we have more control over the things that are going on in our own personal lives that getting distracted by the external things that are on a bigger, more global scale that we do influence to some degree is really something that we don't have control over because it's not within our sphere, our life, our livelihood. And getting distracted in all of that only takes you out of your own personal sphere and where you do have power. So this is where we get tricked and slightly bamboozled into going out there where it takes us out of our joy, takes us out of our happiness. Don't watch the news if you want something to uplift you because it'll tend to bring you into, it's like that vacuum. It sucks you in and sucks out all of your energy. And when you feel deflated and like the, everything's on your shoulders. It's because you're taking on stuff that you have no power over, no control over. It's not within your life. So the real question is, do you find happiness in going without, going outside yourself and pushing away what is really right here so that you can be distracted by the masses? Too often we're going out there looking for things to commiserate with others on. We're looking for the triggers. This is that unconscious side of us where we tend to not realize that we're creating our own suffering. That when we focus on what brings us joy, when we focus on our lives to find happiness, what we'll really find is that it's not out there. And that yes, there are bad things happening in the world, but it's not going to solve anything if we suffer in our own place here for what's going on out there. That person or that situation is not going to get resolved by you joining the suffering. 
And in fact, believe it or not, as energy and vibration goes, the more attention we put on the horrible events that are happening or happened or this or that, the more they build up in energy. And then more things keep happening just like that. I don't think that I recall ever seeing so much chaos in the world when I was younger. But just looking out with the with a no attention to detail, but just seeing that so much of the media, so much of the news is projecting so much discord when there's so much going on that's actually uplifting and happening in the world. Change is being ha is, is right in front of us. People are uplifted. People are inspiring. But if we focus on only what is not, how does that bring us joy and how does that keep us in our own personal power? If anything, it takes us away from that. The best way you can uplift and empower yourself and others is to be the beacon of light to step back and stay in your own sphere and work on your joy. Because one person going into this suffering state is not going to help another person. It's just going to keep people going down that slope, that decline. And what we really all need is to get back to where our, our roots are, which is in our personal power. And it takes some humbling consciousness and awareness to step back and go, wow, you know what? I'm putting my attention and my focus in something that is not bringing me joy. Or I fear doing something because I feel that something else will happen. What is that doing? That's putting the power into the fear and you're never going to move forward if you don't step into it. And sometimes stepping into your own personal power means stepping into your fear. Because most of us will feel, fear any form of failure when in reality the fear of failure is just this illusion, this idea that it even exists. There is actually no such thing as failure except for the failure to move forward, to step forward. Because in order to continue to move in life, you have to keep trying things differently. And what you perceive as failure is, again, a story you've created. It's only this infallible, this story that it's an illusion. Because failure only means it didn't meet the expectations of the outcome you wanted. Again, another form of creating your own suffering. When we don't meet the goal that we want to meet and and we call that failure then that is where we create that that fear it's a story again so personal power just means i'm willing to be courageous i'm willing to step up in the face of fear and be vulnerable to making whatever mistakes having guided obstacles in our paths and when you do it, other people will be inspired to do it too. Because really, people who radiate their personal power, you know, you see somebody walk in a room and they light up the room and you go, I want that what that person has. They look like they're happy. They're, they're, there's something about them. It's because they're in their power. It's because they feel the confidence and they radiate the happiness and the joy. So, what is the key to your happiness? I hope this is inspiring, and if you have any questions or anything you'd like to hear me speak about in the future, shoot me a message, place a comment, share. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Many blessings.